Always wait and see who's first in chat. Oh, Derpy Chicken wins first again. That's twice in a row. Derpy Chicken getting it. Banter Squad, what's up, buddy? Saw your video. Cool stuff. I showed it to Scrap Man. It's kind of cool. That's the first time anyone's actually made a video um, dedicated to, to something I've done, so that's kind of cool. Gymnastic Kids 101, what's up? I'm so epook. Epook. What's up, guys? Do you know what we're, what we're building today? We're going to build some cool stuff today. I wasn't really going to stream today. Uh, well, no, sorry. I wasn't, like, normally I don't stream on, um... Oh, that's wrong. Where's my barrel launcher? There we go. This thing. I normally don't stream on, uh, on Thursdays. I normally stream tomorrow. And I'm still going to stream tomorrow as well. I just, uh, I felt bad because I meant to put out a video this morning. And I got slowed in the building process. So that video is actually going to go out tomorrow. Um, and so I said, you know what, I'm just going to stream today to try and, you know, help out some people uh this is gonna be in the way crap so today we're gonna make something really cool though so this is the uh this is the barrel launcher i showed this in a video i showed this in a video there uh was it tuesday monday tuesday tuesday right i guess honestly I, I lose track sometimes but yeah i showed this in a video on tuesday derpy chicken i hate you i know everyone guys derpy chicken he's just fastest on those notifications get that message out so, I don't know. If you guys follow me on Twitter, I did say on Twitter that I would be streaming at 6.30 today. And so, uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you'd see that and you might actually be able to, uh, you know, get ahead. But anyways, so I decided to stream today and we're going to take this cannon here. And I thought this cannon was pretty cool. So, if you guys didn't see that video on Tuesday, um, check that one out. But basically, Mr. Um, Mr. Al Magma there came up with a cool way to shoot barrels. Well, not shoot barrels, he was shooting pipe pieces. So I made a pipe line. This is incredibly difficult to reload. I need to make this better. It's hard to line that up. Um, but he made, a, he made a pipe launcher and I took his design. I said, you know, that's pretty cool. And then I made my own version of it. And then I also made my own version of a barrel launcher, which is this thing. And this thing's legit. I mean, you just open it up, you push in the barrel, you do that, you close it, and then you press the one button. And like that's it's pretty good right like it shoots it shoots a barrel pretty far i'm pretty i'm pretty impre impressed um oh yeah i gotta get the sequence right though so in close it seal it fire retract perfect i just you know what? i'm just gonna keep ejecting them out you know what screw it doesn't matter right something like that but anyway so it works pretty well um it gets pretty good distance Obviously, there's there's a few problems with it. Number one, it's it's right now it's all manual, so you have to actually like hit the buttons and stuff, and uh, and hit them in the right sequence, which I don't like. I want to make it automatic, so that's the first thing. And then the second thing is it shoots slow, so there's a slow reload time. And I mean, even if I try, let me see, let me see if I can how fast I can get two shots off here. Let's let's put in a full clip again, and let's see how fast I can you know riddle off shots. Oh goodness, you might hear the cat a few times. Cat's in a bad mood today. All right, so let's see how fast I can riddle off shots. So it's two, three, two, three, one. And then as soon as that shoots, we can go two, three, one, two. So like, that's pretty quick, but imagine this was automated and, you know, didn't, like I'm screwing up the sequence. Oh, see, I just screwed up the sequence. It's so difficult to keep track of the sequence and you gotta hold that and just snap. Right? So I want to make that completely automatic, number one. And number two, um, I want to make it double barreled. So I'm going to have one loading mechanism in the middle. So one single line of barrels in the middle that will just feed left, right. So it'll just go like this, and then like this, and then like this, and like this, and just constantly shunt the barrels. And then it'll also, um, you know, fire two of them. So it's not going to fire them at the same time, it's going to alternate. And if I can do this right, then the idea is to use that design in a, in a stream tomorrow because I'm going to also make something else tomorrow with that. Something better. I'm actually going to mount it to something. It's con. Yes. Con, not can. You should make a triple, quadruple after a double barrel. Well, 
So I thought about that. I, I know a lot of people were saying make it revolve, like make a rotating barrel. Um, if you saw the part of the video where I showed how I had two priming mechanisms and they rotate, it screws up when you rotate, so I can't do that. Um, but I don't know what to do with that yet. I'm going to try and figure something out. And then your question, Bradley, no more Hover City. Uh, no, I am going to do more Hover City. You guys voted, like, a stupid amount of people voted to say uh, make Hover City 2.0 with individual platforms. So I am planning on bringing that back at some point in time. I gotta, I gotta work on that still. Uh, but you guys had, like, 87% saying, like, bring back Hover City 2.0. So we're gonna do that. But in the meantime, we're gonna make basically a new version of this. Uh, but we're gonna make a double barrel, so let's let's just get right into it. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna lay out a platform here, because we're gonna just we'll strip this down afterwards, anyways. But we'll just start with a with a big platform. Now, I'm gonna make it odd blocks wide. So the initial square extension is 16 by 16, and then we can just do this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's perfect. So now it's 15 wide, and then I just, you can see there I even have it on that. I draw a center line just so I can tell how everything needs to line up. I look like Vsauce. Okay. I Vsauce 3? They can stop calling can, can. Guys, I get both. I get con and can. At the beginning of every one of my videos, I go, what's up guys, my name is Con, and I introduce myself as Con, which is like the K with the capital A-N, like Con. But, um... I, I call myself can like half the time I'm talking so honestly I don't I don't really mind and a lot of my buddies They'll actually go hey can and they'll use it as like a really bad way of saying it And then they'll say con when they actually you know are trying to be nice It's good times. All right, so we need uh, some width here So let's just mark out this so that's gonna be the edge of the gun This is gonna be the actual barrel of the gun. That's gonna be the edge and then Is that that might I might be able to yeah, I'm gonna need it like five five wide for sure. And then that, that, and then this will be the other barrel lines up here. Perfect, all right, so then we're just gonna go up. We're gonna need to make this one wider on either side. I'm not gonna do any sort of like tilting mechanism on this. I'm just gonna have it the same way the other cannon is where it's just, you know, like tilted down and stuff. What's up, Hank? My mod is in the chat. Can I make a working treadmill? Um, I made a working escalator once, a long time ago. You're a new sub. Thank you so much, Enzo, for the sub. Great. And banter, my day is going pretty good. How is your day? My day is always great when I get to come home and stream for you guys. My music's not too loud, right? I'm just going to check here real quick. I can't even tell. Tell me, you know, if you guys just tell me. If you think the music's too loud, let me know. I, I, I don't know. I can't tell sometimes. Because I hear everything at different volumes than you guys hear it, so let me know. You're sick right now, Skyrhymes. That's, is that Sky, Skyrhymes? Did I say that right? I hope I said that right. All my music, guys, is uh, coming from No Copyright Sounds, NCS. I don't really know specifically. This one is culture codes something. I don't. I can't see all of it. I can just see the front of it. Music is a bit too loud. No problem. I can turn that down a little bit. How's that? Is that better? Too loud? Maybe I'll we'll turn it down a little bit more. This is a uh, culture codes making move, by the way. Sorry, my girlfriend just broke a bunch of stuff. You doing dishes? Okay. My girlfriend's doing dishes. I don't know. That real life stuff. Alright, we actually need to put this on a lift now, though. So I can do that. Okay, so that's gonna be that. And then these will be the two barrels. So, the crossbow mechanisms would interfere with each other, right? So I'm gonna put them vertical. And, which means this, this whole platform is going to have to go up higher, I just realized. But we're going to put them vertical so they can be right next to each other and just, like, sequence. It's going to go, like, boom, 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 boom. My idea is to make it kind of like an AA gun, so it'll just go, like, doom, 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 and just keep shooting. But it'll have one common clip, uh, one gravity-fed clip in the middle for now. I might make it a force-fed clip later, uh, but for now, we're just going to do kind of like that and just do a gravity clip. So we'll probably have, like, ten shots in it, and it'll probably drain that within, like, you know, ten seconds. My goal is to get a shot every second. Because then the idea is I can use this for a lot more builds. The problem with that one is it's too slow to, to shoot people with. 
And I want to make sure I can really shoot people effectively. Alright, so we're just going to do something like this. That's going to be like the main launch chamber. The load will go in there, probably. Is that a barrel? Yeah, it's a barrel plus a little bit. You always want to have a little bit of extra space just in case, you know, something screws up. Alright, so we're just going to do that, do that, do this, do that. Perfect. Do that. And then like this. Guys, I'm actually really terrible at building. It's 4.30 a.m. in your country. Yes, I know. So I've been thinking about this a lot. Because I still work full time, right? And that's a problem. Um, like, I mean, it, it, so I work full time. So I, I live in, in Eastern Canada. And so I have, um, for all you guys in Europe, it's at least five hours away. Um, like a five hour time zone change. And so a lot of the time I stream after work, right? Like I'll stream at like six o'clock or whatever, 6.30 my time, which is always a, is nice for me, but it, it's a pain in the butt for you guys because I realize you guys are, you know, not in my time zone. And so I was thinking like, what would you guys think of if I did like a stream maybe on a Sunday? Like I'm still thinking of keeping the Friday stream. I really like the Friday stream format, but what are you thinking about maybe a Sunday stream too? Obviously, um, if I get to the point where YouTube becomes my job, uh, everything will change and I'll try and do a lot more streams. But right now I still do work full time and because YouTube is not my job yet, um, there's, you know, there's that whole, that whole deal of real work stuff, real life stuff. That's going to be sweet. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can just picture someone getting their butt kicked by this. Like just really just getting their butt kicked. Although to be honest, I really want those closer together. Like a lot closer together. Like I want like one block separation between them. I got an idea. We're gonna change this. Okay, so that one is on that. That one's on that. Why did they fall differently? Oh really? This one's shorter by a block? Well that's stupid. Yeah, it actually is. Okay, hold on. Let's put this back on a lift. Guys, I'm actually really bad at this game. I know you all come here to watch me play Scrap Mechanic, but I'm actually terrible at this game. I um, I have a ghost builder. He builds all my stuff for me. You can stream on Fridays. It's no problem. Maybe save the streams and auto-upload. Well, the streams automatically do do that. So they automatically save and auto-upload. If you notice, they're... They, they just, uh, they don't go away. When I finish streaming, you'll see the last two hours of the stream. Um, and then YouTube does its processing stuff and all that. And then you end up seeing the full stream. So they do auto upload. That is a, that is a YouTube thing. Um, and I don't ever remove them. So all my previous streams are in my scrap mechanic playlist and they're all just lined up with the day that you stream on. So it should be pretty good that way. Okay. So I want to do this, put like one block there. And then just do that and then weld that oh yeah that's gonna be so much gnarlier it just means i'm gonna have to change the the mechanism i wanted to use for the loading but that's okay the loading mechanism will just go in here and then the barrels are now going to be here well let's just hold on so this is gonna be like that's gonna be a barrel plus those will be the two edges and one two three four five that'll be another barrel holy cow Five dollars super chat, Russell Murphy. Thank you so much. Ask your girl to come in and say hi. Hello. Where? Hey. I got a five dollar donation. People saying they want to see you. Yeah, you. It's it looks like garbage. She looks like garbage, apparently. I think she looks good, but she says she looks like garbage. So I'll, I'll leave that up to her. This is this is my girl. All right, bye. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you so much for that super chat. Now you guys have all seen what my uh, what my girlfriend looks like. So, all right. Anyways, you guys are the first first people to see her all right so let's mount this up uh it's gonna be mounted a lot higher it's gonna need to be we'll do actually we'll just do that after because i'm not really gonna do that right now 
Do that, do that, do that. Perfect. And then we'll do like this. Play My Summer Car. I thought about My Summer Car. I actually played it for a bit. The problem I got is it was kind of like, I don't know, it was just like, it was a very tedious kind of meh game for me. It was like, yeah, it's cool. It's all right, but it wasn't really my, my favorite cup of tea. Okay, so I gotta just put another bearing here, I think. And do that. Yeah, that's gonna be good. This is gonna be sick, guys. Like, I have I have a sweet project that this is gonna go on if I can get it to work. Um, but it's gotta work. So that's gonna be the first thing. Alright, so that's, that's gonna be that. Let's extend the backs out. Now the key with this, I'm gonna try and make this like short barreled. So the key is here, you need as much back space as you have forward space, right? Because the distance this piston is going to move is gonna be equal to the distance of this barrel if you want the piston to go from the end of the barrel all the way out to the tip of the barrel, right? And so we've got a barrel that is what? Let's just check here. It's 18 blocks long. And so we've got a back extension piece that's 16 long so we need to go at least a few more i always like to leave a little bit more buffer room too so we're gonna go even further than that and go like this although i actually i realized i screwed up because i actually have to make these here they have to be back to back to each other so instead of being horizontally they're gonna be vertically just like that okay perfect so now we can make some catapult stuff and it's all gonna go through there Okay, this is gonna be sweet. Hold on, I'm gonna read chat in two seconds. I just gotta freaking build this stuff. All right. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Moombo is here. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on Teamspeak. So if Moombo would like to chat, he can chat as well. He can help mod my chat and do all that lovely stuff. Uh, there we go. Joining in on my. There we go. Teamspeak. Problem solved. It would make your day if I said poop. Alright, well, I think I just made your day, bud. Poop is such a weird word. I think I'm gonna make this, like, short... So, hold on. If I do two sets of three... I'm wondering what's more powerful. Here's the thing. Okay, this is a three-piston long arm, right? But the short-barreled cannon used a two-piston long arm. I don't know where the pipe launcher, that's what I called it. No, not not the peep, the pipe. Pipe launcher, right? So this one uses, you can see the difference. This one uses a, oh, uh, it's a little bit laggy. So this one uses like a, a two-barrel, like a two-pipe piece long arm. And this one's three, and I don't He's really know the if there's a difference in power. What's up, Moombo? I'm assuming that's Moombo. Oh, I got Cosmodo, you know. too. I got three mods in the chat. That's awesome. What's up, guys? Did Vincent... you know that Did I know poop what? spelt backwards is poop? Poop spelt backwards is poop? You know what that's called? It's called a palindrome. Oh, I love palindromes. Did you know Mr. Owl Ate My Metal Worm is a palindrome? Is it? Mr. Owl Ate My Metal Worm. I love it. Yep. Did you also know that if you take any number, reverse it? So like, you know, like 22 or not, that's a horrible example. Um, like if you take 21 and reverse it and then add it to itself, it'll become a palindrome eventually. So like, for example, 21 reversed is 12 plus itself is, you know, 33. Hmm. Works for any number except for like one. I can't remember which one. It's like 97 or some weird number like that. And it goes on forever. That's crazy. Yep. What are you up to? I'm watching your stream. Oh, that's cool. I'm streaming right now. I just thought I'd let everybody know. Were you letting me know or were you letting the people watching your stream know? I don't know. I figure anybody who's interested in knowing should should know. Is basically where I'm at today. <laughs> just having one of those- spread the, spread the word. Having one of those days where it's like, I've, I've oh, worked- Categories. Yeah, the cat's been special today. <laughs> But no, I was just, I was like busy working on stuff, really like a lot of different scrap mechanics. You know, I've, I have this bad knack of wanting to do smaller builds and then end up doing bigger builds anyways. Which I'm pretty sure we're all bad at, but.
All right, let's do this as two. Hope this works. Pretty sure in this song, this guy just said learning to pee for the first time. <laughs> like, I'm 99% sure that's what I heard. I don't, I mean, I, I guess you don't really learn something like that. Well, if you didn't know how to pee before, then I guess you do learn how to pee for the first time, technically. You're just too young to remember it, right? True enough. All right, we're going to put this right there. Controllers everywhere. Controllers for everyone. All right, one, two. I saw you posted Kit from Knight Rider. I did Kit. Good old Kit. I haven't watched you. that yet. I wonder how many people in the chat, how many of you guys in the chat actually know what Knight Rider is? If you, is that like way before everyone's time or is that? I have, that's a good, because I'm curious because I posted that video and I was like, honestly, I don't think anybody. Like, Anyone's going to know knows, what it is. No, no, yeah. I don't think. I mean, a few people know. Well, yeah, it was like David Hasselhoff, right? He was the. Yeah. He was the, the Hasselhoff. Oh, this, this clearly wrong. Okay, that needs to go that way. That needs to go that way. And then that goes Can't that way. Can't the hop. Oh, no, I screwed that up. That feeling where you're trying to figure out the right direction. There we go. That's the piston direction. Why are you, what? Is that right? Yeah, okay. This is a terrible, terrible platform to build on. Actually, this is this will work out well, because we can just do this, and then just do this. And then we'll just build this up a little bit like that for now. To keep it flat. Perfect. Happy birthday, Krabby Hands. If that's your real name. Lone Wolf's favorite cereal is potato. What? I don't eat cereal at all. What? Yep. Never have in my life. Never will. Fun facts about Khan. Never eat cereal. Or oatmeal for that really? matter. Well, well, then what's your breakfast choice here? I mean, I, I, like a, I'm not a bagel or some toast, or like you could eat cereal like any time of the day, like a muffin or something, you know, like something that's not shredded wheat paste. <laughs> that's true. I, I I eat cereal as a snack more than anything. I I like to eat like an egg sandwich in the morning. Oh, Brent Batch is in the chat now too. Oh, Welcome, wow. Brent. We're not using any anti gravity glitches though for this one. Sky rhymes hope you feel better. Do you rap? Are you a rapper? Are you a poet? I'm a poet, and I didn't even oh, I wasn't even aware of it. <laughs> it just totally ruined. I was not aware that I was a poet. I was not aware. Once upon a time, that I was able to make rhymes with my words. This is a new. Oh, I'm so stupid. So I was thinking about it and like, you know, I, I haven't decided what I really want to do for like a 20,000 subscriber special. And like, oh, yeah. you know, I'm thinking I want to do something more vloggy. As lame as that sounds. Because I've never really done anything vloggy. 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 Trust me, I did my like little 20,000 like, okay, um, so blah, 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 blah. And I had to do my first vlog cut and it was this strangest thing ever yeah well, see that's what i'm thinking like i don't i don't know what i feel about the whole vlogging thing but i'm thinking like something maybe along the lines of like reading your comments or something like that because you know mm -hmm. we've gotten to the point now where we get enough comments on a daily basis that you know you can actually do something like that but i was just thinking about it like you know oh what did i discount are you serious did i just discount son of a ding dong how is it going grant gaming Holy yeah <laughs> Shout out from the cat. Shout out from the kitty cat. You going to the bedroom now? You just wanted to let everyone know? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, my. Oh, boy. She is aggressive. All right. So all I got to do now is just like reverse everything. Uh, that one's got to go that way. It's so hard to tell. 
which way stuff has to go. Yeah, that one's that. That one's opposite. That one's rotating in. That one rotates in. That one rotates out. And that one rotates out. Okay. Going on there, Josia. Doge, Doge, what's up? Comment, read your comment. Red Stormer, I read your comment. What more do you want from me? You've inspired me to get this game. I have wanted it ever since I found you. It's an expensive game. Oh, it's like 20 bucks, isn't it? But it's I'll use a, my knowledge. I hope I do well. I think it might be on the lower end. Hey, you posted that same comment actually on one of my videos. I saw that comment today, this morning. And um, if you have something that you want to send me that like you think is really cool on the workshop, um, just uh, post the link to the workshop item somewhere on one of my videos because it's very difficult to go back and stream chat, but it's easy to look up stuff on the work. I totally place these gates, like these logic gates, right in my own way. Like flat up, just in the way. I need them not here. Whoops. All right, so we're gonna do that instead. And then we're gonna move this back here. And we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna put the locks, like, see, I wanna mount everything to the gun. Cause I wanna make sure that I can, you know, take this design and put it on other stuff without the base. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so you, there's a lot to take into account as to like what you'll be able to achieve with it. Yeah, like I don't want to, I don't want to have, I want to be able to rip the gun off the base and then weld it to some other base, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this same gun in my stream tomorrow, assuming everything works out here. Yeah. I mean, if it causes a horrible amount of lag, then I won't. But that's that's the plan, anyways. Hey, right. banter, what up? Banter is I... the the young chap who uh, posted that video. Oh yeah! I shared that with all of them, Banter. I'm gonna throw that out there. That's the first time someone has ever made an entire video talking about me actually, you know, mentioning them. And so I had to I had to point that out to all all the guys. Oh, definitely, Banter. I watched the video. I certainly thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, my girlfriend watched it too, so it was great. It was funny too, actually. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Good. I was, I was having a good time with that. No, Doge, I do not play Minecraft. Oh, really? You don't want to get into the wonderful world of Minecraft YouTubers? Oh, and Darkness has subscribed. you a new subscriber. He says hello. Oh, thank you so much for the subscription. Now make sure to uh, get your parents' credit card number. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, what a, what, wouldn't that be funny? All right, so one and two. These are 90s as well. And these are also 90s. All right, so that's good, that's good. That's got nothing connected to it. So let's build these two arms. And then we'll do some actual like, you know, projectile testing or whatever. Oh yeah, right, this needs to be on a lift. Herp, herp. So the key to making this actual like crossbow mechanism, I realized, is you have to do the four bearing piston. You know how you can do the three bearing piston? You know what I'm talking about? Three bearing piston, yes. Yeah, to like one. go in and out. Yeah, yeah like it's a like pipe. The, the 90, the yeah. 45, 90, 90 thing or whatever. Well, yeah, you have three different angles. You have 90 or 90, 180, 90 is to do a full extension, or 45, oh, 90, yeah. 45 is to do a half extension, right? But that's the um, that's oh, man. that's the way the uh, most the easiest way to make pistons usually is just using three bearings. But if you want to make this slingshot mechanism, you actually have to use four because as soon as you have um, a bearing that's at a different angle it screws up everything because when it's trying to compress and it, one's trying to go to 180 while the others are trying to go to 90 it just gets all skewed and whacked because the one that's going to 180 technically is moving twice as fast as the ones that are going to 90 right 
Because a controller moves the full angle in a certain amount of time, it doesn't move... You know what I mean? Like, the steps are a fixed time, and it adjusts the speed to meet that. Yeah. Yeah, because they're, they're not... Um... They're not on the same run. Right, and so because they're not the same speed, then the entire thing just explodes and it becomes a problem, so you just don't do it. And I wonder, what, how do the developers solve something like that? Can they solve something like that, or is that something that is just Well, it depends. Like, I mean, right now the controller is a time-based mechanism, right? Each step is a time-based. To solve that, you'd have to make it so that the angle has a fixed linear, like it has a certain angular velocity and that's it, right? Like, what if you had, like, a new block that was kind of like a logic block, except it was, like, just like a tick block, and you could change just how long it took something to do? Maybe. But regardless, you're but, still... I mean, there is a speed changer anyway, but yeah. so... Yeah. As long as they can keep those correlated together, you can always do it like that, I suppose. Yeah, no matter what, though, you're still going to be screwed. Because if you... Let's say you put a speed block on the controller, then what's the point of having 10 steps to a controller? You'd adjust your speed block, right? Well, it, I guess it acts as a memory kind of thing, yeah. if anything. Well, controllers were the way to do logic memory before logic gates were a thing. By the way, I noticed that a lot of people, um, I don't know if you guys in the chat have noticed, Ken Gaming says, Day human, play humans fall flat. I actually bought that game a long, long time ago. Can you turn the beeping off? Thanks. <laughs> Yo, Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. Cool. Someone email Cosmo some energy. What kind of energy? Like, home energy or, like, your personal physical energy? Okay, so... Now we'll just get rid of these switches, because we don't want those. We'll put them uh, over here for now. Lock. Shoot. Lock. Sorry guys, I just want to I want to actually get some some l shooting stuff set up. All right, so the that's... old shooting stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I'm an idiot. I actually had sp son of a Man, sometimes I just I second guess myself and then I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Banter said he loves your vids. That's good. I think Khan knows that. I really appreciate that. I would hope you like my vids if you're going to make a video about my vids. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just super dedicated. Which is awesome, don't get me wrong. That's, that's amazing. Play Space Engineers, you'll love it. I have 500 hours in Space Engineers. The reason I don't play Space Engineers is because the devs bother me. Like, I'm, I'm dead serious. There's, there's the Space Engineers community is very, is very terrible because they, they had such a promising game and I've been playing Space Engineers since like Alpha Alpha, like since doors didn't even work in the game. And the problem was the devs just dropped the ball and then dropped the ball again and dropped the ball again. And they're like, oh, but we do weekly updates. Yeah, but your weekly update is nothing if you're like, oh, we fixed bug performance issues that 1.001% .001 of people had and the rest of the people won't even notice. Like, that's not that's not a weekly update. No one cares about that. How about you fix the fact that I have a $3,000 computer that can't run the game more than 40 frames per second? That, 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 what? What? Why? How is that a thing? There's no reason why my computer shouldn't run Space Engineers at like at least 60 frames, if not higher, but they're just like, nope, our game sucks, deal with it. <laughs> I even watched a dev stream where they were streaming it, and uh, it was it was bad. You want me to chug the Red Bull for five bucks? Yes. Wow. Super Jet from Russell Murphy. Yeah, chug Absolutely the Red Bull for funny. five bucks. Right, well, How much is left? How much is left? It's, it's like about here, so it's not even like full, but... It's not even full? Wow. Well, be worth it. Well, I guess I have to finish it. Yeah, you're supposed to chug the whole thing. Crush it. Right. There you go. That's such an interesting request for five bucks. Hold that on, heart attack. Full. I can see that it was relatively full. Worth it. <laughs> Get your heart attacks here, yeah, five dollars. Actually, $5. apparently yeah. there was a there's a coach on some American football team, and he drinks like twenty of those big energy drinks a day, like the big huge ones, or no, ten of them a day. 
Who does? A and football player? Is that what you said? No, a football coach. He oh, drinks like coach. 10 of those like big monsters a day. And apparently the amount it takes to kill you is 20 of them. According to some science journal. Oh. But I mean, I feel like if I drink like two or three, I'll have a bad time. So I feel like, you know. I'm just, you know what? I think I'm just going to leave these as flat pistons. I think that's going to work just as well. I mean, maybe we'll do some testing. Maybe it, m it won't, but. Wait, Derpy was saying it was empty. Your can was empty, but I I, I distinctly remember hearing you tap it, and I heard that well, it was, there was not empty. There was stuff in it, yeah. I mean, if you want to say it's empty, it's empty. I don't know. I don't I don't have another Red Bull on me, so I can't just go get another one. I have um, a water bottle. Also not empty. But I'm not, I'm not going to chuck my water bottle, because, like... It's just ridiculous. All right, so this should work now. Uh, we lock, and then we prime, and then we release the lock, and it snaps. We got good clearance on that. That's good. You actually need, so you can, guys can see there, I've left a bit of extra space there, and you actually want that because this glitches, and I guys, you probably know how bearings will pull apart. Well, when this snaps so quickly, sometimes the bearings would actually pull apart, and it would get jammed into the wall. So you want to have a bit of a gap there so that if it does pull apart, it won't go too far. So this one works. And we'll shoot something out of that real quick. Let's try this one. Lock it up. Prime it up. Release the lock. Seems to be good. All right, so let's let's try loading a barrel into these and see what happens. Let's get a barrel here. <laughs> this is awesome, dude twin barrel launcher like this is just ridiculous so i don't have a i don't have a seal so let's just put a seal this actually prevents it from um the seals there they actually prevent it from getting like flung out so when the piston initially collides with it there's a little bit of a jerk and that jerk you don't want it to to shoot the barrel at like mach 50 you want it to kind of sit there i'm gonna actually move this load forward though a bit but anyways all right so let's try this let's lock one lock two prime one prime two Perfect. Let's just... Yeah, just like that. Alright. Release one. <laughs> Release two. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be sweet. This is gonna be sweet. Alright, so now we just gotta do a lot of stuff. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Okay, so that... No, that's the wrong way. That is such a good launching mechanism. I know, right? It's, dude, and it's accurate. It's so accurate. It's incredible. The pipe one, because the pipes are smaller, and I think it's because the collision is only, like, one block, um, the pipes don't always shoot straight, but the barrel launching version is, like, dead straight every time. Yeah, that's amazing. Like, you can shoot 20 barrels, and they will go the same distance to the exact same spot with the same accuracy. If we do a shooting challenge again, I, they, this is all I'm building. Yeah, because the physics and scrap mechanic are so wonky that it's it's almost impossible to duplicate the same thing twice in most situations. I know, except for this. That's why when, That's when I saw this video, actually, it was funny. Someone recommended me in the last stream to go check out Al Magma. And so I did. Oh, yeah. And when I checked him out, the first thing that caught my attention was, first of all, he built some radar stuff. But it was definitely more basic than the radar I built. But it was cool. He has a, a robot vehicle. That'll free roam the entire map, won't drive off cliffs, it won't flip itself over, it won't go like into a wall or anything stupid, it'll just drive around the map properly. Yeah. And it's wicked, and so I thought, that's sweet, and then, uh, so I, that's why I decided to, you know, let people know that he existed. And then I saw this artillery gun, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, how, how have I not done this yet? <laughs> See, those pistons don't even go the full stretch, so I can actually reduce the length of this. So what's the what's the range on that? Yeah, that's like okay. That's pretty much flush. Like I mean, I don't really want to go further than that. Oh, I screwed this up too. Okay, hold on. So let's just let's just redo this here with a couple switches. So I want to put I want to see what happens if I fire both at the same time. All right, listen, I got to go make some food because I hear people making food in the background there and it's making me hungry. Yeah, my girlfriend's making food. 
Yeah. So I'm gonna be right. I'll be back in a little bit. No worries. I'll probably still be here. Once I get my feet on. What you What you making tonight? Um, I'm not too sure like actually. I'm satay. debating between a couple options. All right, I'm gonna. And but before I go, I'm gonna hit that like button. Make sure you hit the like button. I'll yeah, be back do, in guys. a little bit. Yeah, please do, guys. All right, I'm going to fire two at the same time. Oh god, that was bad. Interesting. It doesn't like priming two at the same time. I wonder if that's a thing. I mean, it won't matter if I make them alternate, because only ever one's going to be primed. But I wonder if that's just... Is that a thing? Oh no, they're, they're at prime two. But it, yeah, it doesn't like that. All right, well, so prime two there. What happens if I if I start deleting stuff? Is it gonna just? Oh no, it's good. All right, let's just lower this a bit. Yeah, it definitely definitely does not like priming two guys. Sit on that. No, no, don't keep pressing the like button over and over again. Just press it once. That's cool. This is so cool. Prepare to feel my wrath. So awesome they hit each other and everything oh that's great that's amazing awesome awesome thank you guys so much for all those likes really appreciated um i think i'm gonna reduce these just one more and make that right flush i think that'll help it shoot straighter the one here you can see the reason why it works so well is you can see when it shoots first of all the piston moves a lot but when it shoots, you can see that the piston actually comes right out of the barrel. And I think that helps keep it straight because it's basically forcing the barrel to stay straight throughout throughout the entire inside of the cannon. And then when it gets to the end, it just launches out like that. But this one's definitely going to be a more compact design so I can actually put it places. Uh, let's try this again here with a shorter barrel, see if we can get some straighter results. So let's try uh, do this, just retract both. Come on, come on. My mouse is screwed up. The scroll wheel is messed. It doesn't scroll anymore. It goes like too far and then not far enough. Just horrible. I need to buy a new one. I said that last time too and I never did, so. All right, double lock. Check, double prime. Yeah, it's kind of freaking out a little bit. Check. Lift up. Perfect. And... All right, let's, you know, let's put a seat on it. You guys are right. Let's put a seat. Put a seat, and then we'll just knock that to there. And release. <laughs> so they definitely can't, they definitely can't fire um, at the same time, because I think they're going to just constantly hit each other. But anyways, let's start working on, you know, let's start working on the loading mechanism. Let's do all that jazz and get some automatic automatic bullets here. Okay, so the loading mechanism is going to be a double gravity feed. Because I can't fit anything down there. Or can I? No, it's got to it's got to feed and then sp split them, I think, right? Could I make the cannon fit a seat? Well, it can fit. It, the cannon fits a toilet seat. Like, flat up. There you go. Toilet seat in the cannon. Um, I don't know how this is going to work. That's awesome. Just scoot it along the ground there. But yeah, so it does fit a toilet seat, so you could shoot. Really? Cos Cosmo's going with the chicken liver sounds? The uh, meow mix, meow mix? Do I know binary? Like, zero, zero, one? Yeah. 
how, how, I mean, really, binary is just a formula, but yes, I understand how binary all works. Um, it's just like, it's just base two, so it, if it's one zero, it's one. If it's two zero, or one, one, the first position is your one, the second position is your two, the third position is your four, the fourth position is your eight, the fifth position is your 16, your 32, 64, 120, and this is actually the exact same reason, too. Um, base two is the whole reason why your computer RAM, like a thousand megabytes of RAM, is actually 1024, because cat. Cat. Okay. Where you wanna go? You gonna go sit in front of my monitor? No, you gonna go you gonna go down there? Okay, right, cool. Make a red baron. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much, JG Gaming. Alright, let's do some reloading stuff. So that's going to be the spot where the reload opens physically. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to try again to keep all the circuits relatively small here. Well, not small, but relatively um, contained here, kind of all within the... Uh, on the gun itself because my plan is the the stream tomorrow is to use this cannon to do something else so i was going to build this cannon anyway so i figured you might as well stream it um but yeah we're gonna we're gonna have this here so i want to make sure i can rip this entire base off and just put it on something else and that's the plan this this cannon is not going to be intended for anything else all right let's just do this perfect so that's that and we'll put those on a gate. I know you don't need them on a gate. I just like having stuff on gates because the off chance that I need it to be um, controlled by multiple things for whatever reason, then might as well have it on a gate. So just a simple or gate. And the delay it adds to the circuit is not going to kill the world. Um, so now the key is how do I do the rest? Okay, so that's that. And then we need... Try putting a wedge between the barrels, bounce off the slope instead of each other. Actually, that might that might work. What time is my next stream? My next stream will be tomorrow at uh, 6 Eastern time. I usually try to start. Are you playing in Neebs when he does Scrap Mechanic? Um, I, I think Neebs is kind of like his own little closed group of, of gents there. He's got him and his like three other buddies. Building games are underappreciated. Absolutely. Put a flower pot on. Okay. You know what I say to your flower pot? You know what, you know what I'm going to say to your flower pot? Oh, here comes the cat back. Come sit. If you're gonna, if you're gonna sit, then you gotta sit. Okay, there, perfect. Just broke her butt on my desk. You know, it's very important to uh, keep the farm fields planted with flowers. Perfect. This is gonna be terrible. <laughs> Only one went out. The rest just kind of flopped oh there's another one still in there oh no it's it's glitching right through the cannon all right well that's that's an easy fix hold on let's just let's just there's a fix for this all we need to do is put a barrel in first as like the main slug right and then we just need to you know break the barrel off here and just let's do something like this and just put a ton of flower pots in it. Just like that. Perfect. See, look at that, guys. Look at that. And then we'll just seal this back up again. Perfect. That should work better. 
I don't see anything that's gonna go wrong here. Amazing! It actually looked more like, um, like, uh, what's it called? Um, muzzle flash. Alright, that's sweet. So the reloading mechanism, I'm thinking, all we need to do is just have the barrels fall here and get pushed left or pushed right. Um, and to do that, all we really need is like a pivot ramp. Although I'd rather do it with a piston. Mm, can I do it with a piston though? It's only three wide. A piston might not fit. Hmm. Komodo had a beautific, beautific baby named Bernard. Thanks, Devin, for thinking I'm awesome. Komodo on that maternity leave. He did say on Twitter he was coming up with an update video soon, so I don't know what that's going to be about. I'm very curious. He hasn't really told us anything. Put a duck on it. Well, I'll put a, I'll put a duck in it. I'm, I'm trying to think, guys, how I'm going to do this, this mechanism here. Because the barrel is three wide, I might have put these two close. Yeah, that was smart. Why'd you think that was going to work, Con? Gee, I don't know. Because the problem is a barrel's going to fall like here, let's say, right? And if both of these are closed... See, so, like, it's perfectly flush, but you need it to shunt it left or right. And I don't have room to shunt it. It almost needs to have, like, an extra gap between these barrels. But I don't want more of a gap, because it would suck. Like I said, only one's going to shoot at a time. It's not going to shoot two at a time, but I want to make sure that there's... Hmm... Why is this more difficult than it needs to be? And I don't want, like, I mean, I could do two loading mechanisms, one on either side, and then I could have the barrels closer. But I don't really want two loading mechanisms. I don't know, what do you guys think in the comments? Do you think it should be one loading mechanism or two? You think two, one, two, or one? Like, should I have two clips, one on either side? It just goes like boom, boom, boom out of two clips? I mean, that's easier. But... I don't know, you guys... How about a bearing on top of the barrel pushes it to one side? Two? Yeah, I think two. I think two is going to be easier. I mean, two might look cool, because you'll see two clips there on the side, and be like, dung, dung, dung. Yeah, you know what, we're going to do two. Alright, so if we're going to do two, though, we're going to break this in half. Like that. And like that. So it's broken in half now. And then we're gonna cut this. Yeah, and they're gonna share one wall. So they're gonna be super close together. Of course, the question is, can I even make them share that wall? Of course I can't, because I made this stupid piston mechanism mount to that stupid wall when it shouldn't have been stupid. Alright, well, you know what? I just broke this in half for no reason. They gotta stay at this distance apart. Oops. By the way, that was the most OG weld ever. I jumped and welded. I'm just saying. My game's lagging now, though, so I gotta quit to menu here. All right, perfect. All right, so we're gonna do the loading mechanisms now. So I got, I screwed this. Stop scratching my arm. Hey, hey, it's enough. Thank you. I love cats mentality guys like cats are hilarious they'll sit there and they'll purr while doing something they're not supposed to do and they think oh well I'm purring it's okay as long as I continue to purr it's there's no problem with it but as soon as you know oh, put a bearing hook to a controller in the middle and the two barrels that when activated pushes the barrel to the left and when deactivated pushes the one to the right see that's what I want to do originally but then to do that I have to separate the barrels more 
And so... I'm, I figure that's why I just do, like, boom, 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 boom. Two, two clips. It'll look cooler with two clips. The only reason I didn't want to do two clips is because it's a pain in the butt to reload, but whatever. Alright, so we're going to do this. One, two, three. That's the width, and then that's where the piston arm goes. So then it extends out one more. So it's one... One, two, three, four, like that. And then here, one, two, three, four, like that. Perfect. Yeah, right? And then the barrel will come down here and then just, you know, flop in. It'll be like, boom, chuck a luck a luck a luck Like that. Right? And then it'll roll in. Got some gapping. Just rolling on the front side, not the back side. Hi. How are you doing? Alright, then we're going to put some pipe pieces down. So this is going to be like that. I hate... Guys, Scrap Mechanic needs a symmetry mode. You know how awesome it would be if it had a symmetry mode? That would save so much time in builds. Oh, that's too small. That's what she said. Right. Um... Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll do this. <laughs> ah, son of a... Sorry guys, I just wanna I wanna get these loading mechanisms built up here real quick and then I'm gonna check the old Do you guys see this cat? Do you see look at this? Look at this. I can't I can't look at this. She's she's right here. She hasn't left. Hey? Come here. Oh yeah, I know, I know. Okay, here you go. He's gonna chill out there, eh, for the whole stream? Here, here, hold on, here. Oh, here, here. Play with my hat. You gonna play with the hat? You wanna, you wanna play with the hat? You always wanna play with the hat. See, there you go. She's gonna play with the hat. My cat, guys, is something special. I don't... I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you done now? Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Distract my cat with cat videos. Actually, she likes watching bird videos. She doesn't really care so much for other cats, but she likes birds. was explosive for a pipe piece. Alright, so we're just gonna do... This has to go like that. Probably one more. The idea behind that is that you need to support the next barrel in the gravity feed when you push the one out of the way. If your piston's just flat, then a barrel gets jammed in behind it, and then it's a real pain in the butt when you try to reload it. So that should work. Um, and then we'll put some controllers down for the old reload mechanism. So we'll do... Um, Let's do it, like, right here. Like that. And then we'll do this. Bum, bum, bum. Would it be nice if I could remember what keys to press? Alright, perfect, perfect. Problem solved. Can you have a shout-out every time you join the stream? Well, I mean, I guess. But, you know official one-shot creeper can you even one-shot a creeper in minecraft is that a thing i thought i thought you had to shoot it twice i haven't played minecraft in a long time guys i honestly have no idea 
Someone's gonna be like, oh my god, you're so stupid. You can you can just shoot it once, man. Like, duh. All right, so the theory is this should just work. Yeah, it's one block too far. It's gonna jam the barrel if it tries to do that. So let's, we need to back it up a little bit. So let's go to 81, 60, 80 maybe. You wanna make sure it doesn't, it doesn't go too far because otherwise oh, it didn't even do anything. Uh, let's go like 65, 30, and then 65. Still not enough. 45 maybe? Is this really like a 4590 situation? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. 45, 90, 45. 45, 90. Shoulder kitty. You're gonna go back to being on my shoulder because that's where you seem to like to hang out. Come here. There you go. Okay, watch. If I change my headphones, then she'll be okay with it. There we go. Come here. How's that? Yeah. See? If I put on my big headphones, then the cat will just sit here and scratch my headphones all day. Come here. Stick it. Oh, there you go. You are special. You're so special. Sometimes she just gets like this. What am I doing with the cannon tomorrow? Um, I'm not putting it on the... Um, I'm not putting it on an ice cream truck that's you're wanting. No, I'm going to do something cool with it. My cat is awesome. Yeah, this is one of them. She's she's kind of special. Let's put it that way. Perfect. Look at that. I mean, I guess the idea is I could have moved that back one more. Because now, like, the rest of the loading mechanism has to be... Like, here. Hmm. Oh yeah, no, that'll be fine. Okay, so we'll do that, like that. And then we just need this. Like so. But see, that's not gonna, oh, that's gonna interfere, isn't it? What? Oh, I changed everything, whoops. too close okay that's good and then we just do another one here and then go like that my mouse is, is messed I need a new mouse this is bad and then we'll do that and then like that and then like Oh, this mouse sucks! Alright, just like that. Perfect. I mean, maybe a barrel could fling out of here. Actually, I can just do that. What am I talking about? There we go.
Okay, I'm gonna move this because this is bothering me. There we go. I can at least do it this way with hotkeys. All right, and then we're gonna do this and this. Sorry, guys. I've been like, I'm focused. I'm on a mission, man on a mission here. All right, and then this one's gonna go like across. Actually, I don't even need it there. Screw it. That's fine. That's the groove. Oh, wait, that's too close. Aha! That's funny. Screwed that up. Can't even fit a barrel in there. This. Yeah, and then this goes up like that. Do I not have really? Come on. Come on. And then just out like this. And then like that, and like that. Why is this four wide? Why am I having a brain fart here? Oh, because these are, oh my goodness. Guys, I'm screwing up everything. This is horrible. Holy cow. I can't even build like a freaking thing that holds a barrel right. All right, so because I can't do that, I'm just gonna rechat. Make the reloading mechanism automatic. Absolutely, it's 100% going to be. Icon. Oh. Icon. Uh, you can you can come back, Cosmo. I have I have the ultimate troll mod here. Okay, why is this like confusing to me for some reason? This isn't okay. The barrel is going to go here. Okay, goodness. This is barrel's gonna go here. <laughs> There we go. Holy cow. Dude, I am struggling with this mechanism here. I like, I wasn't watching there for 10 minutes. I had to lethargically switch from my bed to my computer. Oh. Hey, Khan, do you like country music? <laughs> um. If country, it's your favorite. <laughs> if country music is what's playing now, then sure. But otherwise, no, I don't. I don't really like country music. All right, there we go. This is a lot easier when I just put a barrel down. I should have just done this from the beginning. It was stupid of me. All right. Now it just needs a front container perfect perfect USA USA you like jazz um meh jazz okay I used to play piano like a long, long time ago, and um, and I and I played some jazz piano as well. So I'm I'm kind of like okay with it, but I feel like this clip might be a bit excessive for containing a barrel. But I figure I might as well do it excessive like this, um, because that way at least I can guarantee that the barrel's not going to fall out if I potentially decide to put it on a moving object which is most definitely going to happen oh I'm trapped I didn't think this through ah crap I'm trapped in my own clip well that's a problem <laughs> there's also another issue too which is when I put a barrel in here close to the bottom it's going to get stuck to like 4 points and you won't be able to disconnect that so I need some, but I have to make those out of out of concrete because I need it to go in four directions. Um, well, it just means you're only gonna get like from here up, and then you'll probably have to reload it again. So let's let's try this. Let's stock these up here a little bit. Okay, so one, two, three. We'll just put three shots in each for now. Can't fit. Perfect. Ow! Stop! Green cat, man. She stabs me in the arm. 
She's like, I want your attention, so I'm gonna grab your arm with my claws. And it's like, yeah, well, you got my attention. Can I play Minecraft and build redstone contraptions? Um, I don't know. Oh, that just kind of naturally forces that one over. That's kind of funny, actually. Although I don't think it'll naturally force stuff over if these are closed. Yeah, because if they're closed, it can't it can't go across. Oh, unless I oh god, I break everything. Okay, perfect. My name is Jeff. Oh my god. Cat, okay, you're going away. Bye bye. See you later. There you go. Okay, so now we're gonna wire. We're gonna hook some other stuff up. For testing purposes. No oh, cat, go away. Go away. All right, double locked, double primed, double release. Amazing. Double retract. Okay, and then. Double open, double load, double close, double prime, double fire, double release. <laughs> awesome. Holy cow, that one lipped off of it and just went. All right, this is sweet. So we've got all the basic pieces here. Um, now we just need to sequence it all. Oh, that one did go far. Did you see it, like, lip off the thing there? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now it, it just needs some sequencing. Like, a lot of sequencing. Okay, so I gotta think about this. Um, well, it needs to start with, like, one... Well, let's, let's sequence the firing mechanisms first, I guess. That's probably the first thing. I swear to God, Cat, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna hurt you. I'm not actually, but... I'm gonna get upset. Yeah, so let's just do... How do I want to sequence this, man? I need... Well, I need, like, binary bits for everything, so that's the first thing. So I need... I need, uh, each one... Needs its own bit. So what's the order? The order is... Piston in, flap down, prime, and fire. That's the order, right? So we're gonna have some binary bits here to handle all that. So we'll go... Actually, we'll go down two just to make this a little bit more hidden, like that. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. Perfect. And then one, two, three, and four. All right, so then nor, nor, or. This is a real pain in the butt to work on when the piston's in your way. Perfect. Are you late? Well, it depends on what you call late. If you uh, if you wanted to see the whole stream, then I guess yeah, you're late. But if you want to see the end of the stream, you're definitely not late for the end. Because we're not we're not done yet. Definitely gonna be able to get this sequenced. Cat, cat. It's enough of your attitude. No, is life miserable? The cat doesn't like it when I when I use my YouTube voice. Um, she doesn't like it when I talk loud. And my YouTube voice is louder than I normally talk, so she's not a fan of that. She's like, what's wrong with you? Why are you saying stuff?
All right, now we need a reset mechanism for when we put this on a lift and take it off the lift. And so that is really simply just an exclusive or timer switch setup. So any gate to a NOR gate. And then NOR gate goes to timer. Timer. Timer can be like, you know, just a fraction of a second. Doesn't really matter. And then that goes to an exclusive OR gate. Like so. No, like so. Son of a... I just wanted to look... Oh, my goodness. I pressed the wrong... What are you doing, cat? Come here. Okay, stop being a putz. No, you're going to be a putz. All right, cool. Well, you know what? This is ridiculous. There we go. Finally. So that goes to Norgate, goes to timer, goes to that, goes to that. And that'll just flick. And then that needs to activate all these gates. So basically what'll happen is when you spawn this on a lift, all the gates won't just be blinking back and forth. Because technically speaking, a memory bit is a double negative. Like it's it's a gate, it's a never ending loop. Um, so it needs an initial condition and that sets the initial condition. Oh, my nose is itchy. All the cat hair. Spark of Fire 2002. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Sup, Nielsen? Or Nelson? Is that Nelson? I can't read. It's Nelson. I win almost all multiplayer Monday. Actually, we were talking about that. And if one of you guys is hardcore dedicated enough to go back and actually add up the scores and see who's winning multiplayer Monday, that would be wicked cool. Because we honestly don't have any idea. You live in Vancouver, then, I guess, if you live in the most expensive city in Canada. Or Yellowknife. Alright, so the first one is always going to be... first one's going to be the Load Piston. So, Load Piston. The second one is going to be the Reload Seal. Reload Seal. Third one is going to be the Prime. Like so. And fourth one is going to be this. Cool. So, this will be the start switch, uh, and we'll just build that in here. So when you start it, you need an AND gate, and we're going to send a pulse down the, uh, the circuit here, so we're just going to do this. So it'll be an exclusive ore here with an AND gate with the amount of pulse. We'll do like a 0.25 second pulse. And that. Whoops. So it does this. And then that pulse will go down the pipeline here. Which is going to be these four timers. Sequencing something is actually really not hard because really all you'd need to do is put timers in a line and then connect them all together And at each point if you send a pulse down the timer um, You just have basically It'll fire one cycle and then no matter what it'll go through an AND gate Which then allows it to continue firing The cycles so long as you're still holding the start switch But actually we're gonna do this a little bit different because I want to be able to move that start switch So we're just gonna put this as an OR gate and this will be like the starting OR gate. And we'll paint this nice and green there so it's easy to tell. And that goes to there and to there and to there. The reason you have the OR gate go to that AND gate is so that when you turn off the circuit, it doesn't send a pulse backwards. You see that? Can I increase the fire rate? Well, that's why we've got two barrels, guys. So we're going to alternate shots. So it's going to go like doom, 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 doom. And hopefully that'll be quick enough. I don't know how fast we'll be able to shoot, but at least double that, if not faster. So we'll try it. Alright, so that's all primed and good to go. Then this AND gate leads to this. So, if, is that... Oh, crud. This has to go... Hold on. This has to go to an OR gate here first. So, AND gate back there to an OR gate to that. And this goes to that or gate as well. Okay, perfect. So now if I send a pulse, 
we've got a pulse there moving along. That's our sequence. And then because the switch is still on, it will keep that sequence going. And then as soon as we turn off the switch, it will finish one cycle and then end up at the end. Or are you not ending up at the end? Oh, because I don't have a con ha There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that is the timer to sequence everything. Just like that. Okay, so at the first step, which is this first timer, we're going to do the left side first, and then we'll do the right side. So at the first step, it's going to set the bit to load, right? So let's just start this. Set the bit to load, and then at the second step, it'll reset the load bit, but set the close bit. So if we start at the beginning, load, close... Actually, it should set that. It should reset that later. Reset that at the third step. Load. Oh, it never opens this back up. Shoot. Okay, hold on. Load. Close. When it closes that, that's also when it's going to... It should also lock this at the same time it's closing because it can do that. So at this second step, it's also going to lock. And then at the third step third step it's going to prime then the fourth step it's going to release the lock and at the first step oh no that's the see we need another fourth step also has to release the load is that going to work i don't know what's it doing load prime it hasn't it hasn't it never primes why is it not... What? Oh, no, it is primed. It's not releasing the prime. Uh, fourth... Oh, no, the fourth step's got to release this. Uh-oh. What you doing, bud? Okay, this is, this is clearly all messed up. Okay, let's let's just let's just let's just rethink this one through here. Hold on. Okay, so I need I need to think about this. Okay, so let me let me see. So look, I need a piece of paper, and pencil here. Ugh. Yeah, I know. I need a stretch. I need to grab some stuff. All right. So I got I got to think about this, guys. So we need we need what are the steps here? So the first step for firing the gun is it's got to load. It's got to push the piston in to load the shell, right? So it's got to push the piston in to load the shell. So that's one. And then it's got to also push in to load the shell. And at the same time it's pushing, it's got to... It can actually... Push plus it can lock at the same time as it's pushing the shell in. So that's good. Yeah, I'm breaking out the pencil and paper, guys. Sorry, this is what I do a lot of the time. I have cat hair, like, all over my face now. Thank you. It's freaking itchy. All right, so we're going to push and lock. And then we're going to seal the, the bullet plus prime. Right. Shoot. Okay, and then three, we're gonna retract the piston plus unlock. And then four, we're gonna unseal and unprime. Is that right? Does that is that everything? So push lock seal prime yeah no this should work okay so let's let's relay out these timers here again like this like this like this all right yeah sorry guys i have to sometimes i'm trying to figure think about the steps in my head and i'm always screwing it up so i'm just like you know what sometimes you just need to bust out that good old paper and pencil and then that's gonna go to there and then that's gonna feed to there and this is also going to feed to that. Okay, perfect. And let's just do this nice and slow, like, you know, two step, two second intervals for now. We'll worry about speeding it up after. Hopefully we can at least get it to work. Okay, so does that still send a pulse properly? Pulse. Of course, my timers are backwards now. Uh, I'm going to fix that.
We're still backwards. Hold on. Just flip that. One, two. Okay. Perfect. One, two. Perfect. One, two. Perfect. One, two. Perfect. All right, so if we turn this off, let's just turn it off, wait for that to get to the end. Yeah, okay, now let's turn it on. Do we get a pulse? Nice half second pulse. Perfect. What's going on? Okay, I'm just trying to sequence everything. So we've got two cannon barrels here. That's good. Both cannon barrels work, which is good. They both fire using the same mechanism, but rotated sideways, which is good. And now we just need to sequence it. So at the first step, we're going to push plus lock. So we're going to push... Well, first of all, you know, let's reset everything. Let's put this all on a lift. That'll reset it all. So there we go. It's all reset. Okay, so the first step is this timer. And the first step, we push plus lock. So we're going to push, which is, which one's the push? This one is, this one's the lock, right? No, this one's the push. So we're going to push plus lock. What's the lock? This is the lock. Okay, second step, we're going to seal, which is this one plus prime, which is that one. Third step, we're gonna retract plus unlock. And the fourth step, we're gonna unseal and unprime, which should now work. I think this works. Let me get, let me get, oh, let me, this is bad. I'm in a bad spot. Let me get in a chair here. Let's just see if we can see if this is all working here. All right, so. Opens up. Pushes in the barrel. Seals it down. Fires the cannon. Opens up. Pushes in the barrel. Oh, this should work, guys. This should be, this should be perfect, actually. So now let's just, let's just take this and we'll put this on a lift again. And we'll do the other barrel too, but I want to make sure this one's sequenced correctly before we do the other one. So let's just uh, do this. We'll put this up here. So. Push. Push. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that was cool. That one spun kind of weird. I think I need to work on the, the barrel firing a little bit. I think it's a little inaccurate compared to the other one. Might need a longer barrel. Holy cow. Yeah, it definitely might need a longer barrel, but uh, this is awesome. Oh, that one misfired. It's going to happen. Let's grab mechanic physics. All right, perfect. So now let's sequence the other one. Sub to Khan, thank you so much. Really appreciate that if you do. It's awesome. I love all you subscribers. And whoever disliked the stream, let's just get them. Let's get them, let's mug them. All right, so this next one, I'm gonna do the exact same way, but I'm gonna start it halfway through. So I'm gonna start it at this step. So... The first thing it needs to do is push and lock so push is the first one correct push that one goes to there goes to push pop yeah. lock and drop it pop lock and drop it and that one's that one okay and then the second thing it's gonna do is prime and seal and then the third thing it's gonna do is retract and unlock which is this one so retract is this piston there and unlock is this one here then the fourth thing it's gonna do is unseal which is this one and unprime which is that one so now we should have an alternating cannon. I think. Boom, seal, boom, fire. All right, let's speed this thing up too. These are way too slow of time steps. I think, what's this one running for time steps? I think it's literally one second time steps. 
Because this one's got a sequencer just because it has a single push button fire. One second, one second. Yeah, it's one second time steps. So we can do at least one second time steps. This thing's awesome, dude. Oops, that's not good. Alright, what? Really? I can't. Why can't I get up there? There we go. One second time steps. We'll probably even be able to reduce this even more. This will make it fire even faster. Alright, let's just load it up. This might just become a lag machine, but whatever. Let's just put uh, three shots on each side for now. I might need to make a better clip mechanism later, but for now I'm going <coughs> to use gravity feds. Alright. You guys ready for this? You guys ready? This is going to be the double barrel. You know, let's, let's give it some elevation here. I think it needs a little bit. Oh, it is laggy like crazy. Alright. Let's do this. There's one, two, holy crap, this thing actually unloads on you. It's so fast. I need bigger clips. That's awesome. Did you see how fast that thing shoots? Yeah, like I just caught up with the stream and that's amazing. Oh man, that is so cool. I need bigger clips. I need, I need like much bigger clips. Oh my god, I can't. I'm gonna try and run in front of the barrels and get hit by them and see what happens. Dude, this is ridiculous. It's so quick. It actually doesn't lag that bad. Mix up, stop spending your money. Oh my goodness, Mix up 21. Thank you so much. Hi, Ken. Love your vids. I spent $15 on Super Chaps. Rip wallet. <laughs> Rip wallet. But it's worth it. By the way, do you remember me? Um, <laughs> Rip. Ow, cat. Yes, I, I, I do remember all the people who super chat, because all you super chatters, you all end up in a special list that I see every month and after every stream and during every stream, and like, it's, it's, there's a super chat list, but thank you guys so much for the super chat, really appreciate it, um, and I'm glad you like my vids. It is getting laggier though, the more bullets I add, this is a problem. Alright, there's, uh, four shells on each side, so let's just start it firing here. This is ridiculous, oh, holy crap! Dude, it's so cool! Hi, wow. hi, cat. I mean, I it's not Tiny as likes it. it's not as accurate as the other one, but this is ridiculous. Nice. <laughs> so good. Okay, I'm gonna try and play baseball with them. <laughs> That'd be cool. The super chat is the little uh, dollar sign symbol at the bottom of the thing, but depending on your country, some countries don't have it enabled for some reason. I don't know. It's just a, a YouTube thing. All right, I'm gonna weld it down because maybe that'll help a little bit with the lag. It is a bit laggy, but that's okay. All right. Guys, this is like literally my most favorite gun I think I've ever designed now in Scrap Mechanic. This is insane. Like I wanted to make the other one faster shooting and this solves that problem. So there's four bullets. And then we'll do another one here. What time is it anyways? How long have we been streaming? Oh, it's 8.06. That's, you know, pretty good timing. I actually uh, got us something done for once. Oh. Well, that one slipped in. That's okay, though. I might need to fix that. I might need to put, like, a little a pin here that comes up when this is open. And so, the like, it keeps the barrel from falling in. But I'm not sure yet. I'm not too worried. I'm only worried when I actually go to mount it onto something. Um, but, all right, let's go. Let's prime this thing up. It's already less laggy that it's welded down, so that's good. Oh, that one glitched through. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right, because there's already one in the... Oh, goodness, that's... You can't... Oh, that's why. Okay. Oh, ow, that hurt. It's because there was already one in the barrel. I screwed that up. Whoops. Because it, it falls out of sequence, so I really do need something there to prevent it from just slipping in. Um, let's see, what can I use? Maybe like a screw. I just want something to prevent it from just slipping off this edge and in. Come here. Oh yes, I know. 
Oh boy. Actually, I don't even think I need a screw. I can just do like something like this. And just do that. And then just do that. Right, perfect. And then these bearings will also connect to the same thing as the piston. And they'll start default up and then go down as it fires. So it'll be like 15 degrees up and go down by 15. Did I put that? It's in the wrong direction. Oh no, it's on a lift. That's right. Derp, derp. 15 and then down 15. So the idea is that when it pushes in, it'll lower that. And then when it's not pushed in, see, so it'll have those little lips, which should be just enough to prevent it from, uh, from the barrel sliding in, I'm thinking. Should be fine. That, that should do. All right, let's do this, guys. Let's try this again. We're going to weld this down another time here. And uh, we'll just move this out of the way like that. And we'll just lift it up. Is that in the... What? How are you... What are you getting... Oh, there we go. Lift. Perfect. All right, let's put more ammo in it. Guys, this thing is ridiculous. So yeah, you can see there the lip is already up. So now when we put our barrels in... Because the problem that the reason it screwed up so much last time is because it already had a barrel in the chamber and because of the way the sequence goes it tries to load another barrel into the chamber that of course isn't there or that's already there and it just gets all jammed so that won't slip anymore that's good and now we'll do the same over here okay like this eight shots it'll drain these man in like eight seconds not even. It's a shot. It's going to drain this in four seconds. It's a shot every half second. All right. What's up, guys? I'm going to read the chat for a bit. So I am a noob, 967. Nice. Is it bold? It's because your name. Yes. If someone goes at your name, it makes cool. I would super chat, but I'm broke. Don't worry about it. I don't expect you guys to super chat. If you do super chat, that is awesome. I will for sure read your super chat, but uh, I don't uh, I don't expect it. It's, it's awesome. Thanks so much. Mega wall of suspension to bounce ammo back so you can delete it. I don't even know if that'll work. Uh, Ethan Latimer. That's how I'd say that. Hi, Mr. Can. I have watched all your vids. LOL. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. Hi, Snow Guy. Hi, Diamond. See, as soon as I say that I'm reading the chat, they all just start saying hi. What's up, guys? Just joined Game Tiger. You joined at a good time. We're about to shoot stuff. More flipper glitches. Add more flipper glitches. I don't want to add more because I want to mount this onto something. And I feel like if I add more, it's just going to cause a whole bunch of issues that I don't want to deal with. Alright, so let's try this. Let's turn the switch on and then let's go play baseball. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Get out of my way, barrel. Oh, dang it. Get out of my way, barrel. Alright, let's do this. Why is it only firing at the one side? Oh, that, that one completely jammed through the roof. Perfect. That happens sometimes. Let's put this back on a lift. Alright, let's go. Let's delete some barrels. This is getting bad. Let's just delete a bunch of stuff on this. We don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need the flower pots. Oh yeah, that's right. We littered the world with flower pots. I forgot about that. Don't need all that. Look at this. This is ridiculous. All right, whatever. Oh my. <laughs> wow. It is pretty accurate though. I mean, it, this one's not going to be as accurate as the single shot cannon because the single shot is definitely, um, you know, a, it's got a longer barrel, which makes it a little bit more accurate. But uh, we're definitely just going to delete all this stuff here. Can, can, can. Fire two cannons at once. Oh, I'm not going to fire both. This one, it's not, it doesn't have a double barrel override. This is purely timed because um, I am going to mount it again to something tomorrow in tomorrow's stream. That looks beef tech. All right, let's uh, mount some barrels up in here.
All right, so you guys ready for four seconds of shooting to drain eight shots? Yeah, you can see it. It, it tries to get pushed over, then it actually slides back on that. So that's actually amazing. All right. Let's just prop this up a little bit. You can already see there, it does kind of get a little bit of lag when I, when I load up eight shots. But I mean, you know, not much you can do about that. All right, let's do it. One down. Oh, that one jammed completely. Did I put this at too steep an angle? It's probably because I put it at too steep an angle. Oh, God. This one's... Get out of here, Barrel. There we go. Awesome. We got some serious... Some serious... There's a barrel being passed between the two loading mechanisms. Good. Goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness. All right. We need to... We need to deal with you. Hmm. I think, I think we might have to weld this down to fully test it. It's not enjoying eight barrels worth of stuff. Let's try this again. Let's actually weld it this time, though. I mean, it was working. I have so much cat hair on my face. It's a freaking magazine, not a clip. Okay, but when when people are in a gun, don't they, like, say I'm... Like, I've shot a few guns before in my life. Um, like, nothing too major. Just, like, nine millimeters and... Um, well, I did get to shoot an FN foul once, which was kind of cool. But don't they call it, like, a... I mean, I know it's a mag, but don't they call them clips as well? Like, in a pistol, like, I'm reloading my clip? Or am I am I just wrong? I thought they called them clips, too. Can I upload the cannon to Steam? I will eventually. Um, I'm going to upload all three cannons eventually, but, but not yet. I actually have a plan for each one of the three cannons. So this one's going to go on something epic. Um, the other single shot cannon is also going to go on something epic. And then the, uh, the small pipe one, actually I might not do anything with the small pipe one, but the large cannon, the single shot large cannon is going to go on something different because it's a little bit longer range and more accurate than this one. Um, I'm also curious what happens if I chop this off. If I chop the front nose off, if it'll shoot straighter. Because now the piston's going to extend a little bit outside of it rather than right to the edge. Alright, let's try loading this one last time. we got to get some good shots in here. This is ridiculous. Alright. Perfect. Eight round mag. That's aggressive. See, it doesn't lag when it's when it's welded. So maybe that's the issue. All right, let's go, boy. Awesome. Missed. Oh goodness. Oh wow. Oh, that one jammed. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. There we go. We got some serious. We got some serious jamming issues on the right barrel here. Yeah, we got. Hmm. I wonder why that's jamming so much more. Is that lowering? It is lowering. Well, that one got completely stuck. Hmm. I don't know. That's kind of weird. I don't know why it, why it keeps... Maybe it's just because there's so many barrels. Let's try it with six shots. Maybe it's because there's too many shots loaded up. And this is, this is again, one of the terrible things about Scrap Mechanic. There's this thing in Scrap Mechanic that I've, I've kind of dubbed the rule of three, which is three bodies in collision are generally okay. But when you get above three bodies in collision in Scrap Mechanic, like if you have four cars all hit each other, uh, the results are generally pretty unpredictable. Clip is a metal bar that holds the ammo and is stripped off when loading a gun. Magazine is a box that inserts into a gun. Oh, so clip is like when you're shooting a um, uh, an SV or a K98 or whatever, and you have like the five round stripper clip, and you have five bullets, and you go, and then it goes ping and pops off, right? That's a clip. A clip is under nine, mag is over nine. Is that what we're saying? I don't know. I honestly don't know, guys. I don't follow guns enough. My brother would probably know. He's a big gun nut. He's got tons of guns. Loves guns. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I guess I can just do this to give it some tilt. That'll work. All right, let's try this again. Let's do. Let's just do a full eight shots again. I, I don't really care. We're gonna do it. It's gonna work. I have faith. That top barrel might just get stuck. Do that. Alright, if this works, then uh, I'm gonna end the stream after this because I do have to go eat and then work on some more stuff for tomorrow's video. But, uh, let's see if this works. Let's do it! Shoot! One loaded. Holy cow, that's fast. Ow. Nice. Oh, that one jammed. Oh. It definitely doesn't like eight bullets, I think is the problem. I think eight bullets is just too much for it. Oh, I just broke something. Alright, let's you know what, let's just do this one more time, guys, with six, and then I'm gonna end the stream. But yeah, it definitely doesn't like eight. It's too many. It's just too much collision. The game just doesn't enjoy itself. I totally broke that too. Whatever. All right, let's try this. This one might take a little bit more tuning, um, but the problem is like six bullets, it's gonna drain in three seconds. Like it's literally, it's gonna shoot that fast enough to just drain them. Oh, I totally screwed this up too. Ha, whoops. Let's just, let's just put this up here on a lift. All right. There's one. It's that second. That's left side, man. Is just not not having a good day. What are you doing? See, now it works fine with only one clip. It's definitely too many bullets in the chamber. What if I have nothing on the right and I just fill up the left? Is that gonna is that gonna do something? Nothing on the right, just fill up. See, it's bouncing too, which isn't good. It seems to work no problem. It might just be like a, a lag glitchy thing. I don't know. I'll tune it a little bit more. I think I might have to play around with it a little bit more tomorrow. Um, but I'm definitely going to use this on a build. It seems to be relatively lag free. I mean, as you add more barrels to the map, it gets worse. We'll see how it goes on a build. Um, but I'm definitely going to put it on a build tomorrow. Thank you guys so much again um, for the uh, for the company. It's really great to stream to all you guys. And uh, I'm glad you guys showed up. I know it's a little bit impromptu, but I am going to stream again tomorrow at my normal, like, you know, 6 o'clock time or whatever. And we'll mount this on something pretty cool. But uh, make sure you guys hit that like button one last time. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy what I do. And you want to see more Scrap Mechanic and other stuff. Um, go check out Logic Bots. It's a pretty cool game. If you like the Logic stuff, uh, I, I really like playing Logic Bots. So make sure you go check out that Logic Bots video I posted yesterday. Going to do some more Logic Bots coming up soon. And uh, more stuff. But have a good night, everyone. Thank you guys so much. Um, Coca Cookies in the chat, everyone. Just noticed now at the very end. Uh, see you guys. Chucky, have a good one. Kaysen, Kaysen? Garcia, I hope I said that right. Give me your cat. No, I'm keeping my cat. Thank you very much. Bye, Sky Rhymes. Charlie, thank you so much. Mikey, shout out to Lane. Boxy Boy. Good night, everybody. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you hit that like button again. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream, and I'll see you all next time.